it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night time. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepares. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as, as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Won't be long now, folks. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected, and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! I round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Razor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, Presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the gentleman. And there's Herb Dean, who will handle the action Ready. inside the octagon. Ready. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about strike. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. Leave your hands up. Moving to his left now. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh. Touching him with the jab. Oh my goodness, these balls are going at him. Oh, nice right in. Oh, huge kick to the leg. The Superman punch lands. Big kick. Straight punch lands. He tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. I need more Just over three minutes to go. 
bitch. Beautiful leg kick lands. Marty gets the takedown now. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Now he's going full mount. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. North-south position. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He needs to shove the knee, hip heist, and get back up to your feet. And he's back up. Table oh. inches right Damn there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that right there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, switch kick. How good was that? He switches the hip really fast and gets that leg up real quick to the target. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Body shot there. Just misses with the straight left hand. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Clipped him with the right hand there. Nice. Nicely done. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, if you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Push kick there to the body. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Nice shot there by the champ. 20 seconds left. It's a pretty fast jab. Final second. All right, so the round is over. Certainly stunned his opponent in that round. We'll see if he can follow up here after 60 seconds. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of finding a shot that really did affect the equilibrium of his opponent. Now he needs to go back and find the attack that's going to shut the lights off. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that Ready, first fight. round. Ready. All right, second round underway. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, you got to love the leg kicks, and there it is. Just missed with the leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, big punch land. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Nice leg kick. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. 
circling away towards the left now. Back and forth we go. Beautiful kick. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Technique on that straight punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso, and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Under two minutes here to go round two. Him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and that was opponent's back in the play. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go get. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him walk the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Nice block. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. He missed with that jab attempt. Continues to work the body here. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, nice. Final seconds here of round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just crawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50,000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both that So the blood really 
starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as you go forward. Just unable to quite find that range. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Left hand counter there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. He is cut above the eye here. Good kick to the body. Whiffs on that offering. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Oh, nice straight left. Oh, he just heard him. He just heard him. combination by the champion there. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Just out of range with that strike. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. He loaded up there on that high kick. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. And the kick lands. He's sticking him over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block. Champ's starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. The knee's now going. Oh, you land high. That's how we're doing here. 15 seconds remain in the round. Low kick is there. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up.
All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That Ready. cut is going to be an issue Good. as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. Oh, that's another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Well, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Well, at times, he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so, and now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fight. He's hurt bad. Huge left hand. Big head kick. Lands a jab. Target change and him attacking the body. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. Oh, nice. Making all these shots count. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangles. And there you go. Again, half guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Nice transition. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Oh man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Yep, gotta be very careful there. I need you to fight back. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten. <laughs> Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going right now. There. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but... Fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, my goodness. Got him hurt. Got to start looking to finish. Oh, nice high kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Fighter lands a nasty kick. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Nice head kick gets through. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Got hurt again. Nice job to land it. Knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. 
Push kick there to the body. Fighters separate. Looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. round is underway and both fighters still look pretty fresh to me DC maybe maybe they're doing their spring workouts during training camp or something. I mean these guys are known for working very very hard both of them make cardio a very key factor in their preparation and it's showing on both sides of the octagon well this is getting hard to watch and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good anybody want to save this athlete right now yeah this is this is a classic case of that where a guy is just too tough He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, this corner can stop it. The referee can stop it. The doctor... Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. That's a beautiful body kick. Straight right hand, no good. And he switches to Southpaw. And that one certainly found the target. Another punch to the head. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Takedown defense is there. Oh, nice elbow. So what? Oh, oh. oh continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flat him up and just go for the finish. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Oh, he got real good, too. What's up? Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. And now he's got the back. is a constant extra. Oh. And that'll do it! Oh my goodness! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. <laughs> Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Razor.
There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.